here uh, in Dallas. Uh, for those of you that are from Dallas, we've been very well received. Uh, and for the rest of you that have traveled here, it was great to have everyone here. We wish you safe travels uh, back. And we'd like to give you a little bit of information about we, what we found about the conference, uh, the attendees. Uh, and we also want to give some thanks to the folks that have helped make this possible. So Betty, take it away. Thank you, Sean. Um, this is my uh, really official role here is to close this meeting out and welcome you to the next one. So Sean and I are going to do uh, double duty here, as he said. I want to take personally a moment and thank you all for making the trip to Dallas. Uh, it's been warm weather here in Dallas, which is great, some great socials and uh, a great program, thanks to the program committee. Some of the early survey comments that you've provided us to date are here um, on the screen. Seems like everyone thought it was a great show, a um, lot of good content, which is, is already always exciting for us to hear. Just a reminder that the surveys will remain open through uh, Friday, number, November 4th. We don't have gifts for surveys at the end of the process, but we do want your input. Again, thank you to our host and our connectivity sponsors. We couldn't do this without them, and our premium sponsors. <laughs> Thanks to our individual meeting contributors and sponsors. They play an important role in putting together all of the uh, break times and food and, and help contribute to the cost of this meeting. And we sincerely appreciate uh, their presence as well. Can we give them all a thank you? Some, uh, excuse me, some statistics uh, that I like to share about the meeting. I was going to do a little graph of what uh, we do uh, in terms of this meeting and prior meetings. What you'll find is that what you find on the link for registered voters is a little different than what we're going to report here today, and that's because we have a lot of folks who register for the meeting, but they didn't show up. <laughs> um, so we have a total of 162 folks on site. We have 268 members, which is great. A little up this time. We have nine students who registered and paid their own dollars to attend. We had 20 speakers uh, this meeting, and I'm pleased to report that we had 24 college immersion students here and faculty with us. The female attendance as reported to us is uh, 11%, 120. It's up a little bit, uh, but it's pretty much about the same thing. The important point for me as well is the number of organizations that I find in the hallways. NTT, Juniper, and SoftLayer led the way this time. As compared to Chicago, it was just NTT and Juniper. Uh, we go back. Um, the other important element that I'd like to uh, share with folks is the number of countries that we had here with us in Dallas. Uh, we had 33 countries here, and in Chicago we had, I think, 28. Here's a little bit, it's hard to read, I'm sorry, I tried to make it a little bit better uh, visual in terms of the projectors, but it's a breakdown of the various areas of uh, demographic representation throughout the hallway. Uh, I think you'll see that, eh, it's kind of hard to say, but the internet service provider category that folks pick and the network operator category are the leading contenders, which has been the norm for Anog. What? Special thank you. I won't keep you here. I'm willing to answer any questions, but a special thank you. I, I know I represent a lot of folks and uh, some are volunteers and some get paid. Uh, the attendees, of course, to all of you for attending and paying the dollars to be here with us and to becoming membership, uh, paying your membership dues to become members. It's really important that we have a strong following to direct our board of directors and our committees in the operations to meet your needs. Our sponsors, as I said, I couldn't do this job without Valerie and Day at the back table. Raise your hand. We do have some additional folks. I lumped them in in a category called contractors. Alyssa Miller directs our sponsorship activities for us. 
Verilan and Cirrus provide our network and Wi-Fi environment. And then they do a heck of a job. Great improvement. Hamilton Group by far is the unsung, unsung heroes as well. Allison, Kristen, and Maxie do a great job getting you checked in and doing all the meeting logistics for us. So thank you to them as well. Some save the dates. We update this is on our website, but it changes as we uh, progress through the process. Of course, the next meeting that we'll all be together is in February. Lynx is going to be our host. We're going to DC. Um, we haven't been back to DC in a while, so we're excited to be able to return. In June, we go to Bellevue, uh, second time recently to Bellevue, same hotel. In October, we're going to San Jose. We haven't been to San Jose a while, in a while for our fall meeting. Um, and Equinox, and of course NTT is noted here, are, are going to be our future hosts in 2017. 2018, before I came here, as many of you heard, we visited uh, some sites in Atlanta. And I'm pretty, pretty, 100%, 90% confident that we are going to go to Atlanta in February of 2018. Uh, we should have that information out soon. Nanog 73 in June 2018 will be in Denver, and we have secured a host for site. And in October 2018, we're going back to Vancouver. And anyone interested in hosting that big meeting, it's still open. The Nanog on the road meetings, uh, if you go to the link in the center of the website page, landing page, You'll see the schedule, some of which is filled in, and, and Sean can talk a little bit about this. Uh, in January, we are going to be a featured workshop series as part of PTC in Hawaii, and the registration for that event is now open. We will be putting together an agenda to announce it very soon. In May, we don't know the exact, oh, it is an exact date now, May 2nd, <laughs> sorry about that. We're going to be uh, going to Las Vegas joint with Aaron. And we're still working on October and November, but we'll update the community on those. And I'm going to turn the mic over to Sean and let him explain the difference between the NANOG events that you'll see in programming and the On the Road. All right. Thank you, Betty. So just, just that I think folks have heard a fair amount about NANOG on the Road, but it is an outreach effort. It is a one-day conference instead of the three-day conference. Uh, as of right now, we do not charge for attending uh, NANOG on the Road. Uh, and in, in most cases, it's, it's the NANOG members and the, and the NANOG uh, organization that, that is funding those. Uh, the program committee uh, is responsible for all the content and the production of those just like the main meeting, so there's no difference. We bring similar content, similar speakers, uh, oftentimes things that may have been presented at NANOG, uh, oftentimes local speakers, and we do get uh, keynotes and new material that we present there. Uh, if you're interested in, in speaking at any of the dates, feel free to reach out to the program committee. Uh, but the other thing I would say is, although we do mention it on the mailing lists and uh, social media, a lot of the attendees hear about it by word of mouth. Uh, so if you've got an operations team, service delivery, uh, friends, students, uh, any contacts in any of the cities we're going to, uh, mention it to them. There's, there's no risk to them. Uh, they get not only the chance to attend the meeting, but also a social networking event at the end uh, where they get to meet local operators and other people uh, just like they do at NANOG. So I think that's good enough. We want to get you onto a social event, so we'll keep going. All right, survey comments. Uh, I know we're done with the, the, the giveaways that we've been pushing, but uh, if you haven't filled out the survey, we really appreciate your feedback. Uh, there are already some things we're working on uh, after this NANOG with the production. Uh, the the on-site staff has worked very hard on the power, the Wi-Fi, and the sound. Uh, so we've, we've learned some things, and we'll improve with that. Uh, we also want to hear about the content, what you thought about the speakers, uh, the mix of content, if there's anything you think we should add to the program. So please provide that. And also, meeting format, where we, it is a three-day meeting. Uh, we do try to mix it up so it's not all the same. Uh, and so if you have any ideas there, they're welcome. 
give us your survey information and we'd appreciate it. All right, the conference timeline for NENOC 69. We do plan to open both registration and the call for presentations uh, for presenters at NANOC 69 on Monday the 31st. Uh, so look for those announcements. Uh, one other thing I might say, I always issue this warning, uh, we expect strong attendance in February. So look at the website and follow the link as soon as possible and make your hotel reservation. All right, and as I mentioned at the beginning of the conference, uh, something that NANOC does do slightly differently uh, with the presentations is when you submit something, we assign a shepherd. So if you have an idea, you've done some initial work on it, you have a, just an abstract, uh, but you're interested in presenting, uh, respond to that call for presentations, get it in the tool, we'll have a PC member get in touch with you. And uh, there are cases where we've had folks who had an idea, didn't have a presentation, we worked with them, and they were on the program at this NANOG, and uh, we'd like to have that happen in the future. So if you're an operator, you're a vendor, you're an economist, whatever, you got a good idea, uh, please submit it, we'll work with you. The information on registration and the price changes will be posted shortly. All right, and as far as Washington, D.C., I, I don't think we're going to be going out in shells in February, uh, but I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun. So uh, please join us. And I think, is there something you want to say we do need to tell about the social because it moved? All right, we do have a social this evening uh, sponsored by Aaron, who has their meeting following this, and DE Kicks. Uh, it is in the international ballroom on the lobby level, so please note that change. Uh, and I hope to see you there. Any questions for any, from anyone in the audience? Otherwise, safe travels, and thank you again for coming. <laughs>